Hi, everyone, and welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in our industry. I'm here, uh, Barb Mitchell at PTC 2024, and I'm joined by Richard Petrie, who's the CTO at London Internet Exchange. Richard, thanks for joining us. Morning, Barb. Yeah, thank, uh, thank, thank you for having me. Yeah. yeah. Bit of a trek for you to get here from London. It has been a trek. It's a great event. Um, it took me about 20 hours to get here. So, uh, yeah, yeah it's a, but worthwhile. Absolutely yeah. worthwhile. It always actually amazes me how many folks we talk to that are 20, 25 hours and everyone's coming and everyone just loves to be here. Yeah. It's worth making the trip. Right. Yes, I, definitely. I hope yeah. that's true. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. yeah you've yeah, had, yeah. A, had a good week. Um, so let's talk about uh, links a little bit, uh, if you don't mind. And I know that recently you've had a bit of a technology refresh um, with potentially new new partners leveraging uh, new technology. Yep. Tell us all about that. Yeah, so so we we London Internet Exchange, known as Links, so we we operate internet exchanges around the world. But one of the one of the uh, main ones we're focusing on uh, at the moment is Nova, so North Virginia. We have a uh, internet exchange it's, it's, uh, coming up for ten year anniversary, so we're we're pretty proud of of, of where we've got to with that. Uh, but it's got to a point in time where we um, we the technology we invested in it ten years ago, which was done is fantastic, um, needs to be refreshed to allow us for growth, to allow us for new functionality. We, we struck a partnership with a company called Nokia. We, we're invested in their, their new technology platform. And actually, over, over the next three, four weeks, we're going to be doing a refresh that sees all of our, our customers move from the old platform to the new platform. And that gives us a scope for the future to build, grow, uh, and, and add new functionality. Yeah. So talk about how that partnership with Nokia that and the um, what that is enabling from a technology perspective is is really allowing you to be a bit more responsive to market demand absolutely I mean we we, we sat we've we've worked with Nokia in in London we're, we're working with them in Africa um, so so we've got a long and, and successful partnership with them uh, we're leveraging one of their new new data center platforms for for North Virginia um, it's, it enables us to be able to put in 100, 400 gig technology. We're seeing a, a resurge or, or a bit of a surge in, in demand out, out in North North America. We hope uh, with our promotion that's going to be going on over the next few few weeks as well, uh, we're going to be doing some price and promotion. We've got the, uh, the, the technology refresh uh, and with the demand that's coming, we're hoping that we're going to see a lot more capacity flow, a lot more traffic flow into the exchange there. Yeah, and I also understand we were chatting a little bit um, earlier about just some of the 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 ways that this allows you to tailor custom solutions for for your client base. Uh, so tell us what what that opens up for you. Yeah, so so we we. Um, I, Peering is our traditional product, so the, the IXP Peering. But we also um, we've also embraced new technologies, new new solutions. So we're we're putting in um, we we have products that allow our customers to talk to each other over the fabric. We allow them to connect to cloud uh, partners. We we support the um, the Map service, which is a Microsoft uh, Azure Peering service, and so. Uh, it, it, it leveraging the technology that uh, Nokia provide us, as well as our own tooling, tooling chain and, and manageability uh, tools that we've, we've deployed, gives us that, that capability to offer all of those services, we, which we do in London, but it enables us to do that in North, North America as well. Yeah, great. And so we're it's 2024. <laughs> I had yes, to get that just, right. Uh, yeah. I had to think about that. Uh, January, I, I think we'll, I'm sure we, we see you it feels like once a quarter with with some updates, but um, what what can we expect to to hear over the coming year or when we're here this time next year? Any any new developments that you expect to be sharing? Yeah, I, you know, I'm hoping we'll, we'll be back here next year and, and talking about the success and growth of uh, of, of our presence in in North America. I mean, we we we're, we're doing an expansion in in Africa, so we've recently la launched in in Kenya in Nairobi. We we yeah. hope over the next six six months that proves to be successful. And with that, with the success, um, that might give us opportunities to expand in in Af Africa as well. Like yeah. coming back to North America, I think you know we 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 we're, we're seeing a lot chatting to people this week we're seeing a lot of investment in data center footprint we're seeing a lot of investment in cloud um, we as a as an interconnection platform uh, our role is to try and make that as simple and as easy as possible so we're we're really excited that we think next 12 months a um, lot of growth in north america great fantastic thank you thank you it's always much. a pleasure to chat with you and um enjoy the rest of the show what what there is left of it the left yeah, <laughs> yeah thank you very much hope you get some sunshine at some point yeah yeah great and and thank you viewers for tuning in to J jsa tv happy networking <laughs>